To perform effective incident response, one of the first steps is to have a data set to query that allows for visibility and historical information that occurred within the network. By collecting flow data from as many locations within the network as possible, StealthWatch builds an audit trail of any network activity and stores this information for many months. Incident response can be initiated for many situations, such as an internal or an external auditor, an alert triggered by an IDS, a system you find to be breached, or receiving an indicator of compromise from an outside agency. Let's say your company was contacted by an external source claiming that someone from your organization downloaded some illegal material from the internet. The notification received said your NAT address, which could have thousands of internal IP addresses behind it, downloaded data between 8.59 and 9.24 a.m. yesterday over port 14001. This is a very simple query to run within StealthWatch. We start the query by running a flow table. To find the conversation initiated from inside your network. We know the conversation was between inside and the internet, so edit the filter to be between inside host and outside host. Edit the date to include yesterday's date from 8.59 to 9.24 a.m. and edit the filter to be port 14001. You also have the ability to search for usernames within a flow or MAC address to filter for flows that cross a specific interface on your network, to look for conversations that use specific services or ports, search for flows matching certain routing tags such as autonomous system, VLAN ID, and MPLS labels. You can search for flows that match certain traffic criteria such as the amount of bytes or packets sent or received by the client or the server. You can look for flows that match certain performance characteristics, such as the round trip time and server response time. You also have the ability to search for URLs or other payload information that may have been captured by StealthWatch. You also have the ability to edit advanced filter options, such as the maximum number of records to retrieve. This retrieves any flows matching the criteria with added context stitched within. This confirms that Brian was logged into 10.201.3.51, was an end-user device, and was NATed over port 14001 and connected to 50.23.115.72 with over 860 megs of information downloaded from the server. Looking at the interfaces, we can see how Brian's machine connected to the server and how the server connected back to Brian's machine. If the flow passed through exporters such as a firewall, it can provide added context, and this confirms that the firewall permitted the traffic to pass through. Another example of incident response is viewing indicators of compromise posted on a threat intel site, as illustrated in this example from the SANS post. These hosts may or may not have communicated with your network at some point in time. However, with StealthWatch, you will have many months of history, so you can quickly determine if these bad hosts have ever communicated with your network to verify if you've potentially been breached. Simply using the host search report, you can enter a list of IP addresses you would like to see if and when they have ever communicated with your network. StealthWatch keeps a history of all of these hosts and as far as if they have ever communicated with your network, the first time they've communicated with your network, the last time, the total amount of bytes that have been exchanged, which flow collectors have the data, and a simple actions button to retrieve additional information. The result of the top peers will tell you which host these IP addresses have communicated with inside your network, how much data was exchanged, and how many flows were involved. Pulling back the flows themselves will give you full details as far as the connectivity between the host and the hosts that were listed in the indicator of compromise. As you can see, StealthWatch provides a complete audit trail of conversations that occurred within your network, providing quick answers into any type of incident response. Having these quick details drastically reduces man hours of trying to hunt for information from other types of sources. The adversary cannot hide from the network, which makes flow collection and analytics a wealth of information to use for incident response.